I think that it is uh, special and, and it brings a lot of value because it really tries to, to bring together the different players within the uh, construction sector. We do not sell knowledge, not, at least not that much knowledge. What we sell is actually uh, houses and buildings. And, and we, of course, the knowledge we sell is embedded in these uh, buildings and houses. We need to go and use the knowledge. So we come here, we uh, get the knowledge from the partners, we develop knowledge with the partners, and we go and use it tomorrow. The biggest challenge for new buildings is to prove how are we carbon neutral. Uh, and it is bringing the energy efficiency down and integrate renewable energy. I, uh, I think it's a very uh, big initiative. It's a, it's, it's, it's a solution, it's bringing a solution for everyone. So uh, it's certainly one of the ways of, 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 of bringing a solution to, uh, to what we need to get to. And uh, I think Active House is, uh, is uh, um, challenging, uh, it's uh, um, very interesting. And um, so it's certainly the network for me today that will, um, that will lead us the right way. In Europe we are spending 40% of our energies, the energy consumption in our buildings. So it's absolutely key. We already have the building requirements so that it will be the norm 10 years from now. But also how to retrofit buildings in a much more energy efficient way. That is also a key challenge. As we also see it, if we are really doing this, it is not just good for the climate. It's not just good for energy security and energy independency. It will also be good for our job situation. Because one thing is for sure, if we construct intelligent houses and if we retrofit the houses that were the buildings we already have, that will create jobs that cannot be outsourced. And for a European construction sector, that of course is extremely interesting. So it's very, very important to bring new ideas to the table, not just focusing on the new buildings, but also on the components for the old buildings. Couldn't we target the money in the EU budget much better so that, for instance, energy efficiency would be a key priority. That is a battle going on right now. I think that could be one tool. Another one, of course, is also that Europe uh, put up energy efficiency action plans. For instance, recently the Commission suggested that the member states each year should retrofit 3% of all public buildings. That is a doubling of the effort as we know it of today. We are of course also installing smart meters, smart grids. So there are really many different tools, also standards in general, how to re-educate people working in this sector so that they will actually know of the new solutions. That is also key.